if there is any stock stock destroyed by fire they can claim to the compensation with a financial company to the extent of stock destroyed a trading account for the year 2019 and you have to prepare a memorandum trading account to the extent of date of fire up to 15th june what is the rate of gross profit now rate of gross profit is gross profit divided by net sale into 100 your gross profit is 97400 divided by 4 like 87 into 100 is it works out 20% Hello my dear student I am Dr B S Subramanya called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management Vidyashram First Aid College a temple of excellence Mysore I am going to hand financial accounting to second semester unit 3 session 1 in favor of five insurance client so this is one of the important chapter which have been kept for the second semester is consider but only 10 marks this question is definitely will come only from 10 marks so in the introduction class i am going to explain what is actually fire insurance so fire insurance policy is an agreement between the insurance company and the company if the stock is destroyed by fire the company can claim insurance compensation for the stock which are destroyed by fire we mean to say that a company will have an agreement with the insurance company if there is any stock stock destroyed by fire they can claim to the compensation with a fire insurance company to the extent of stock destroyed so it is an agreement between insurance company and the, the particular company if there is any stock destroyed then the compensation should be paid by the insurance company to the extent of the the particular part which have been met with the destruction so we'll move on to there's one word called average class in order to discourage under insurance fire insurance policy often include an average class the effect of the average class is that if the amount of policy is less than the value of the stock to be insured the amount of the policy is less than the um, stock up to be here no is less than the value of the stock to be insured the insurance will be liable only for that per proportion of loss which the amount of policy based on the stock to the rate of fund so what the insurance company said you make the insurance policy to the extent of some amount if the stock destroyed to that extent is particular stock on the rate of stock destroyed we see formula like see that loss of stock destroyed by fire policy amount value of the stock on destroyed by fire only to the extent of particular compensation will given only to the extent of policy amount they made if the policy amount is made here this word is most important here it includes an average class the effect of the average class is that if the amount of policy is less than the value of the stock to be insured less than to the value of the stock to be insured this means the insurance will be only liable the insurance company is only liable to the extent for the proportion of the loss what are the proportion of loss only the insurance company is liable to the extent of proportion of loss which the amount of policy paid to the stock on the date of file so amount of claim loss of stock by file policy amount value of the stock on that date of file so i will repeat this word average class the effect of the average class is that if the amount of policy is less than the value of the stock insured if the amount of policy is less than the value of the stock insured the insurer will be liable only to that portion of loss which the amount of policy bear only insurance company will bear the loss to the extent of proportion of loss only the proportion of loss the insurance company is going to pay because there is no an agreement between the insurance company and the insurer insurer whatever the insurance company is getting there is an agreement between them and whatever the portion of loss that compensation will be given by the insurance company the formula is amount of fire claim 
loss of stock by 5 or not the loss of stock by policy amount value of the stock on the date of fire so this is a policy amount value of the stock on the date of fire what is it only to the extent of loss of stock by fire this is most important this is a loss of stock by fire you made the policy amount value on the stock of day only to the extent of proportion of loss proportion of loss so definitely the compensation is payable by the insurance company to the company which have been met with that destruction only to the extent of proportion of loss so here loss of stock by fire into policy amount and value of the stock on the date of fire uh, we'll move on to problem now see on 15th june 2020 the premises and stock of firm was destroyed by fire but the accounting records saved for the following particulars are given stock on 11 2019 stock on 31 december 19 sales for the year purchase for the year purchases from 1 to 15 this is the what's the fire takes place on which day 15 day the purchases take from 11 to 15 sales 1 to 2 stock sold how much left over 5300 insurance policy amount is made to the extent of 30000 calculate the amount of him so what is the procedure now first we have to prepare a trading account for the last year so fire take place on 15th june first we have to prepare a trading account for the year 2019 and you have to prepare a memorandum trading account to the extent of date of fire up to 15th june so first you have to prepare a trading account and find out the gross profit for which year so fire takes plus 15 june you have to prepare a trading account for the year 31 december 2019 opening stock 73500 see that 73500 Purchases three lakh ninety-eight thousand. Sales previous year is four lakh eighty-seven thousand. Closing stock is eighty-one nine hundred. The difference is ninety-seven thousand four hundred is the gross profit. If you take the rate of gross profit formula, gross profit divided by net sale into hundred, your gross profit is ninety-seven four hundred. Divided by four lakh eighty seven thousand hundred, it works out twenty percent. So, before the fifteenth June, you have to prepare a trading account for the last year and find out the gross profit. The closing stock of this year become the opening stock for the next. We'll move on to now. This will be what's your closing stock here? Eighty one nine hundred. It being a opening stock. They have given the purchases. See that. Purchases three lakh ninety eight thousand. They have given the sale here two lakh four lakh eighty seven thousand. Sales for the year is four lakh eighty seven thousand. Then here come back the closing stock become the opening stock. Purchase during the year sales during the year say that two lakh thirty one thousand. And here the gross profit is twenty percent of sale. Your sale is two lakh thirty one thousand. On this twenty percent, we'll record forty six thousand two hundred. Add the debit side. Whatever the difference comes, fifty nine thousand one hundred is the value of the stock on the date of fire. So, what is the stock of the date of fire? Fifty nine thousand one hundred. Out of fifty nine thousand one hundred, how much amount of stock solve a left over, which is not met with the accident is five thousand three hundred. Compensation only claim to the extent of fifty-three thousand eight hundred. But here the average class is going to be applied. See that calculation of insurance to be large amount of claims, loss of stock by fire multiplied by policy amount divided by value of stock on the date of fire. Even amount of here here fifty-three eight hundred. But we made the policy only to the extent of thirty thousand. On the date of fire, it is only fifty nine thousand one hundred. But we made the insurance policy only to the extent of thirty thousand. So we can claim only to the extent of twenty seven thousand three hundred nine. We can say twenty seven thousand three hundred and ten. But your amount of claim here, value of stock by fire is fifty three eight hundred. 
but we get from insurance company to the extent of 27,310 because average class is applied. Only to the extent of your policy amount is only 30,000 proportionate. Your policy amount is only, you made an insurance company 53,800 and your value of stock on the date of fire is 59,100. But you made an insurance company policy only to the extent of 30,000. Proportionate amount will be paid by insurance company to the extent of 27,310. I will explain the problem once again. This is stock on 1-1-2019, stock on 31st December, sales for the year, purchase for the year, then purchase from the date of, that is 1-1-2 to date of when the stock fire takes place, sales from the beginning to date of fire takes place, stock salvage is 5,000, insurance policy is made only for 30,000. First, we have to prepare a trading account for the year 2019. Opening stock 73,500, purchases 3,98,000, sales for the year is 4,87,000 and closing stock is 81,000. If we add notice 5,68,900, the difference will come 97,400 which considers a gross profit. What is the rate of gross profit now? Rate of gross profit is gross profit divided by net sale into 100. Your Gross profit is 97,400 divided by 4,87 into 100 is, it works out 20%. Then move on to the date of fire, fire on 15th June. The closing stock becomes the opening stock, purchases on the date of fire, 1,62,000. Sales for that year is 2,31,000 and your gross profit is 20% on sale. 20% of 2,31 is 46,200. It work out 290,100. The difference will come out 59,100. This is the closing stock value of stock on the data 5. Out of 59,000, how much is amount of stock solved? Not with an accident is 5,300. You claim can be made only to the extent of 53,800. But it will come in average class. You make the policy only to the extent of 30,000. But you claim is 59,100. But solvage is only 53,800. After deducting is 53,800. So only you can get 27,309. Say that 27,310 as per average class. Hope you understand this. Very simple problem definite problem it will come examination is nearer so one question 10 mass question definitely fire claim will come first we have to prepare a trading account of the last year then you have to prepare a memorandum trading account up to the date of fire find out the rate of gross profit gross profit divided by sales into 100 same can be applied for that find the claim what is the insurance you have to make? Then solvage should be deducted. Then apply the formula. Loss, average class, loss on the date of fire into policy amount, value of the stock on the date of fire. So proportion loss compensation is paid by insurance company to the company. Hope you understand. We'll have another two or three problems in next session. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.